Good morning, people, and welcome back to the Trucking Journey. This is episode 85, and I am Trucker Jim. I'm headed to an early morning pickup after getting a very good workout in at Planet Fitness. So I am fresh from the shower. There it is. I delivered to Ford last night, but I couldn't pick this load up until this morning. And I called to see if I could get it, but you know, they were closed. And I totally could have came over here last night and my clock wouldn't even be started yet. But instead of doing that, I elected to get a workout in. And you know, I'm gonna get workouts in two days a week. All the other days, I'm gonna try to manage the clock. Well, that was a quick check-in once I got here. I'm just putting it in door 32. All right, people, it is time to venture out, hit the road, and embark on a 558-mile journey from wherever in Indiana I am. I think it's Jeffersonville. It's right across the bridge from Louisville to Orangeburg, South Carolina, home of the great American coon hunt, which that does go on about this time of year. But I won't be coon hunting. I'm going to shut down there tonight so I can get unloaded first thing in the morning. And I'm kind of low on groceries, coffee, water, creamer, that sort of stuff. I've got a shopping list that I've had for a few days, but I did not make it to a grocery store on my time off. So that's how I will be spending my 30-minute break today. And my coffee should be ready. So your top don't pop And your roll don't rock But the clock don't stop Cause your feet don't feel the groove I put a little too much water in this morning I can't get my lid on mm, That's good coffee Put your arm out the window Let your hands start serving Ain't no thing if a thing ain't working Throw a little love till the world stops hurting all right people it's time to take a break i am now in clyde north carolina which ironically enough is the home of jason massey but he's up in louisville now which i started in indiana Went through Kentucky, Tennessee. Now I'm in North Carolina. I'm not far from the South Carolina line. How cool would that have been to go through five states? Not in a day, but in the first part of your shift. Well, I can't say that. I only did four. But I am at Ingalls, and it took a little uh, <laughs> quality parking to get into this spot. Thank goodness there wasn't any cars where my truck is sitting now. But you have to do that sometimes, especially some of the places I shut down with, uh, you know, grocery stores besides Walmart, Planet Fitness, that sort of thing. But my 30 minute break is ticking people. So let me get in here to the grocery store. I know some of you probably have never shopped at Ingalls. This is such a great grocery store. The reason I come consistently is for the alkaline water. But look, I got... Chinese food. I just sampled this crab and like cream cheese ragoon to go with my orange chicken and fried rice and it was amazing. But I'm getting a little turkey from here because I've already got rats and some provolone cheese in the truck. That's about all I've got. So um, I'm set all week long. No more eating out people. Now I don't have to tell you guys this, especially you guys that's watched this video within 24 hours of it being uploaded. Because I tell you, you guys are great, you're kind, you're positive, you have enthusiasm. And I think uh, as far as you guys that are coming in the trucking industry watching this channel, I think you guys are going to be all right. You're going to run hard, make money, do things the right way. And one thing you always want to do is don't wear your welcome out. When you go to grocery stores, take your buggy back don't be lazy piece of shit. stick it up on the curve 
leave your trash in it and a couple of piss bottles. If you do stuff like that, you're an asshole. But the good news is you can stop being an asshole today. All right, guys, I am in Columbia and I just finished doing the live Trucker Gym show for what January the 11th, 2018. There's about a hundred or so people on there. It was pretty fun, but I've got to continue my journey because I've got time left and I've got 40 more miles to go where I'm um, getting unloaded tomorrow. And I don't know, I got a pretty stacked next few days, so. I'm gonna go ahead and you know shut down at the shipper. I checked it out on the satellite view and I think I'll be okay. I'll probably get woke up in the morning, but I think I will be okay. But I'm getting ready to use the pilot app. Um, for you guys that hadn't seen it, it's pretty cool. Um, there is room for improvement on here, but I'm gonna sit right here in my seat and just gonna pop a code out and I'm gonna immediately pop that code into this fuel pump and it'll tell me to start fueling. But let me do that so I can get rolling. If you want to see actually how it works, watch, uh, I don't know, a few videos back. I've shown it two or three times. Good morning, guys. I've already been unloaded in Orangeburg and instead of having to go pick up tires in Sumter, somebody else picked it up. I'm at the Columbia Yard to pick that trailer and getting ready to leave, leave for Nissan and I just saw an old friend. Y'all remember that guy? Old SL1040, the former Big Red. Looks like he's got his rear fairing knocked off. Poor guy. All right, it is time to get back trucking and start working my way towards Smyrna, Tennessee to the big Nissan plant so I can get shut down in time to get up and pick up my Amazon load in the morning. And with any luck, I can get a workout in somewhere between here and there. But I just had a great chat with the recruiting department. Jeff, which is kind of a, the head recruiter here at GMP, had just informed me we got a brand new driver getting his truck today. Want to say congratulations, Quentin and welcome aboard. Quentin is from the Birmingham area. He is an experienced driver. We're glad to have you. And I know you're an experienced driver, know what you're doing and everything, Quentin, but if you're running any situations where, I don't know, you need me, get in touch. I'm here to help. But for all you GMP drivers, we've got swag. Now this isn't Trucker Gym gear, but we do have GMP gear that's got the logo on the front and back, they come in black and red. Um, I know they're at the Columbia Terminal because that's where I just got mine. I'm not sure about the others, but um, if you do stop by Columbia, pop into the little recruiting trailer and they can hook you up. But let me get rolling. I'll see you guys in Tennessee. All right, I'm in Tennessee on my way to Nashville, finally stopping to do my 30 minute break after a 428 miles into my shift. And I'm only 69 miles away from Nashville. Yeah, it's starting to snow here. Um, but I'm stopping here to do a break, fuel up, and maybe grab a snack. And also, I just wanna throw this question out there. Have you guys been to Arby's lately? They've got this sandwich called the Mountain of Meat. This thing's insane. Like every meat that Arby's has is on this sandwich with like cheese and bacon and turkey and ham and roast beef and I don't know, a couple of other things. It looks massive. I just wonder if anybody's tried that. I have not and I don't intend to, but if I ever did, I think I would make a video about it, which would probably be three videos. The video of eating this massive mountains of meat um, the second video would be the poop you would take after eating a um, three pound massive mountain of meat. And then the last video would be being in the hospital with um, a ruptured colon. I'm just curious if anybody's ever finished that thing. Holy smokes. I've been in the truck since Columbia, right? It was 60 degrees. I'm just getting out of the truck for the first time. 
and it's 22 degrees and it's like lightly snowing. It's cold. Times like this, I'm glad I got the pilot app. I did that junk in the truck and I just hopped out and punched in the code. And, uh, now the fuel is getting ready to start pumping. As long as it's not frozen. Which I've never put any kind of additive in this truck. And your flame don't spark. Your old broken heart, you just can't catch a break. So you flop, don't flip. Cause your heart don't hit. And no such as if can't take the pain away. No. Put your arm out the window, let your hand start serving. Ain't no thing if a thing is. So, we've got a little change of plans, people. You know, every time I get an Amazon load, the first thing that goes through my mind is, I hope this don't cancel. Well, guess what? It canceled. So I'm not picking up Amazon and taking it to Spartanburg, but Dispatch, the awesome dispatching team that they are, within a matter of minutes, found me another load. Now I'm headed to Columbia, Tennessee, to uh, pick up a Mi Millican trailer that is going to Dalton, Georgia. It's not very much of a load. It's, you know, less than 200 miles. And, well, I don't know what's after that, but there's always something around the Dalton, Georgia and Chattanooga area going somewhere. So, let's get on to Columbia, the Tennessee one. simple your bills will be right here it'll have your trip number and you know your destination city and you just sign this single sheet put it in the box and then go get your trailer so that's what I'm doing but there's a little snow coming down I don't know if you guys can see it nothing major just a little sprinkled dusting of snow but it is about 22 degrees here in Tennessee there's my trailer way over there Just when I said, this is easy, I've got two challenges. Number one, there's a wheel chalk there. And, well, it looks like it's froze to the ground. Because the wheel's not touching it. Oh shit, I just ripped my pants. Mother, I heard it rip. Can you guys see my ass? And these were my lucky brand jeans too, which on the zipper down here, I won't show you guys, but when you unzip it, it says lucky you. First challenge has been conquered. I knew these dumbbells would come in handy for something, but my second problem, I think I'm gonna need to talk to a person here in Millican because there's an airline. Well, the first three days of this week have been rocking. All have been over 500 mile days. But it seems to always be one kind of shitty day, and then the last day generally is kind of a little short day as well. Well, it looks like today is my shitty day. Saturday, and it's cold. Well, truck drivers, this isn't something I'm proud to say, but it's part of my day. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments about this, but I've got a couple lights out on my trailer. And everybody knows anything about anything know that's either A, a fuse, or something in the pigtail connection because the two marker lights on the side and then, you know, my back rear running lights is like where the brake lights are. They're out. I got pulled over last night for it, and I hooked up to another trailer, and it was the same. So that let me know it's nothing to do with bulbs. So I called the uh, service, the shop, 
to make you find out like where that is you know like which place whether it's under the hood or whatever and they just instructed me to go to a shop like at a Loves or a TA so I'm pulling into a Loves right now that has a little you know tire center and all that and I'm gonna grab a shower while they're messing with it because I hadn't had one in a couple of days and well there's an Arby's here and I've been hearing about the mountain of meat like if they had the hill of meat I would be all in on that the mountain of meat I'm a little scared of it you know I don't want like a, a colon rupture <laughs> and you know end up back in the hospital but here I am at the loves Well, the Love's Tire Shop is locked up tight. And this is the second one. I stopped at another Love's and they were gone on a parts run to Nashville. So I'm walking into the Love's here to see if one of those guys is inside. Take a shower, maybe grab a snack. We'll just have to see how it goes, people. And I need to get a bottle of alcohol. Not for drinking, for rubbing. Well, not exactly for rubbing, but rubbing alcohol to uh, put in my washer fluid tank because I've been froze like since yesterday. And the last place I stopped was out of it. Well, people, I would not describe today as the best day ever. No, it's been rather shitty. Um, there's not a mechanic on duty. So as far as getting my lights fixed, I can't which I didn't show you guys the first time, but I attempted it earlier today as well. So that's strike two at Love's, trying to get my trailer light situation corrected. So needless to say, I did not take a shower. But now I am Dalton bound. Your hands start surfing Ain't no thing if a thing ain't working Throw a little love till the world stops hurting Keep on, keep on, keep on Everybody going through a little song, something Sing a little song with the guitar strumming Smile on your brother, have a good love's coming Keep on, keep on, keep on Alright, so I'm better than I was But everything is still not completely resolved But my backlights they're on now, but the side marker lights aren't on, you know, with turning the headlights on. Now, as far as turn signals, brakes, everything works. Uh, but I'm at a Love's. I'd called about 40 miles before I got here and talked to a mechanic on the phone. Told me there was about four other trucks in front of me. And I kind of explained what was going on. He said, well, I got a lunch break coming up. I can come out and take a look at it. You kind of know what that means, though. You got to, you know, slap a 20 on him or something like that, which I did. It's good to have cash on you truck drivers. Um, but he checked all the fuses, brought his little, you know, meter check, not meter checker, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the volt checker, there we go. And I don't really know what the problem is. I'm thinking maybe that new pigtail and set of airlines, the pigtail, there may be something in there. But. I'm gonna grab a quick shower and then I'm just gonna roll with it. My back lights are on right now. It ain't nothing but the you know the side ones that's a problem. And you know when I do turn signals, they come on. So hopefully I can make it back to the terminal around Tuesday or so, and then just let our shop take care of it then. But let me hop in the shower because well it's been a couple of days since I've had one. And my pants are ripped and my ass gets really cold when I go outside. Plus, you know, I'm showing my underwear to people. So let me fix that and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right. Fresh from the shower, people. I almost forgot. Alcohol. All right. I put this in the washer fluid tank. I don't know if it works now. It does work now. Awesome. Keep on trucking.
really? I could use a little more information than that. Woo! All right, I see a forklift driver. Don't drive away. Well, he says they can't unload it, but I can drop it. And that works for me, because I got a trailer waiting on me in Atlanta. All right, that trailer is in the dock. And we are out of here, people. Next stop will be the Atlanta Terminal. Good morning, people. My morning may be starting with a little drama. I'm at the Lowe's DC, right? I got here last night, and by the time I unhooked from a trailer, I had 18 minutes left on my 14 hour clock. There's a little parking lot with, you know, bobtail trucks over there. So, um, the guy at the car was like, I'll see you on the way out. And I'm thinking to myself, no, you're not, because I, I parked over there. Well, about 3.30 this morning, I hear a boom, 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 boom on the truck. And usually when you hear that, it's never like awesome news. So I just laid there and was like hoping maybe he would go away, but he didn't. He knocked on it again, and it's a guard on like a golf cart. I don't know. He commenced to saying something. I've got a trailer over here. I'm supposed to pick up, and then go ahead and pick up that and leave. I'm like, I can't do that, dude. I'm out of time. Meanwhile, I'm standing there in my underwear, no socks on or anything. It's 18 degrees outside. And he tells me, um, you know, we can't stay here longer than 20 minutes. It's, uh, you know, the company policy. I'm like, well, sorry, I can't leave. I'm out of time. And I shut the door and I lay back down. And he boom, 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 knocks on it again and asks, are you refusing to leave? I'm like, I told him, you can come up here. It's cold, you know, and he didn't want to do that. So I'm like, yeah, I am. He says, we're gonna have to call your dispatch. And I'm like, we'll do that. So, you know, I called dispatch and gave them a heads up, and now I'm hooked up to my trailer and I'm headed to the gate. So I don't know if I'm gonna get banned from the facility for that, or I don't know, get some lecture from a security guard up here, but we're getting ready to find out. And I think Lowe's is kind of Mr. Parker's baby because he personally signed this account however many years ago. Well, let's see how it goes. No issues at all. Now, I'm headed to a spot called Global Systems that's on New Hope Church Road in Tunnel Hill. I know some of you guys know where that is. That's US Express. Global Systems is their division. I think it, I don't know, I think it does stuff with carpet but it's going up to the U.S. Express drop yard on Produce Road up in Louisville. So, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's exactly going to be a reunion because I'm going to be in and out of there as quick as I can and get on my way. Put your arm out the window, let your hands start serving. Ain't no thing if a thing ain't working. Throw a little love till the world stops hurting. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Everybody going through a little something, something Sing a little song with a guitar strum And smile on your brother, have a good life Well, all right. I didn't see this one coming, guys. I didn't. But I'm at U.S. Express, hooked up to a trailer, getting ready to head up to their yard in Louisville. I guess GMP is getting freight from all over the place, huh? But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I hope it's not too long. I haven't even started the editing process. It is Sunday morning right now. But hey! If you like this video, do like the Nelson boys here and give it some thumbs up. And I always love your comments, guys. But until next time, be safe out there and keep on 